So, hey everyone, welcome to this demo in which I would like to show you how to create documents in Docs Automator coming from Glide, including line items. The um, Docs Automator native integration in Glide doesn't allow for line items yet. Um, it will very, very soon, hopefully. Uh, this is recorded April 19th, 2023. Um, but many, many users have reached out and wanted to work around um, or some solution to include um, a list of things, some line items in documents. So I'm going to um, show you how to do it in this video. I've uh, chosen a very, very simple example. Of course, this can be made much more complicated, but uh, we use a fairly straightforward example in this video. So I have um, a glide um, app here, uh, which is one of the template apps um, in which there are companies and contacts. So I have a list of companies here and then every uh, company has uh, contacts um, added to them. Um, and down here I've created a button uh, where I say create company document. And basically what I want to do, uh, overly simplified example of course, but I just want to print a document where it says the company name on top and then a list of the people who work in that company. And this could be two people, it could be 100 people. Um, here you see my uh, Google Doc template. Um, so basically, um, as I said, I'm having a placeholder for my company name because I want to put this here on top and then I have a list of um, my line items. This is how line items are um, declared in, uh, in Docs Automator. So you have a header row, in our case, name and email, and then um, a line items row. Um, and ex you have to follow exactly this syntax uh, in order for doc Automator to know that this is a line items table. So line underscore items underscore, um, in our case, I called this name. This can be called whatever. And then we have an email. Um, in Docs Automator, this is very straightforward. I've created a new template, um, have added my Google Docs URL, selected Glide as the data source, and that's basically it. And that gives us the document ID that we have to use in a later step. Um, for this workaround, we use Make. Um, so Make actually makes the API request to Docs Automator in order to generate the document. Now let's uh, prepare the data in Glide. <clears throat> um, here are my Glide tables. I have uh, a companies table and the contacts table. The first thing we have to do is create um, an object um, out of every contact. So I call this contact uh, JSON object. Um, the uh, type of this is the template type. And then in the template type, you just add the template, right? So line items name, and then contact name, items email, contact email. Um, it's important to get the syntax right. Um, and I show you uh, in a second how to validate the syntax of uh, JSON objects. Um, but yeah, that's how, um, what we want to do. As you can see, these are two items. So in objects, you always have a key and a value. This is a key and this is the value. Um, the key is our name and the key is an email. And then we need to pass the actual name and pass the actual email. And um, this basically then corresponds to the two columns that we have in our line items table. Um, in the template type, you then replace um, the contact name and the contact email with the actual name, the actual email. And if you do that, then you will get these objects. Under companies is where, <clears throat> excuse me, under companies is where these contacts are added. Um, and the first thing we want to do is we want to create a joint list of those objects. Because this, of course, is on a contact basis. But now we want to create a list of all the objects that we've defined, right? <clears throat> and we do this by using the um, joint list type and then going to the linked contacts field and taking our contact JSON object field. And if we do that, we get like basically um, a comma separated list of those objects. In this case, we have, I think, two, yeah, <coughs> excuse me, two um, contacts connected. The last thing we have to do then 
is that we have to turn this into an array. That's basically because um, the Docs Automator API wants an array of those objects. And it's very straightforward. We take this joint list um, and we create a template a type field again. And we just say uh, square brackets and we say objects, for instance, in the middle, although this is just a template uh, placeholder. <clears throat> and then we replace this objects placeholder with the actually joined list of objects that we have created just now. So these three fields that we have to add in this um, in this table structure here are very, very important in order to um, send the right data to uh, Docs Automator via Glide uh, and via Make. I'm sorry. Um, let's look at the button configuration quickly. So the button uh, triggers a webhook. Mm. And in the webhook, uh, we only have to send two, uh, two um, items. Basically, we have to send our uh, company name, which we get um, from the name here. And then we have to um, send our extra line items, which we have created. So the array of those contact objects that we created in the table with this field. Let's look at make because that's where we need to define the rest um, of this. Um, the trigger is the glide uh, trigger or like uh, it basically watches um, or waits for a webhook to be sent. Basically exactly this webhook that we add here. Um, you create a new webhook here and then um, this gives you a webhook here that you have to add there. Um, when that is sent, basically the automation is triggered um, and you get some parameters here. In our case, the company name and the contacts. Here you can see that we get this array of objects. And then we need to make an HTTP request to the Docs Automator API. Um, and it works like this. Um, you can select HTTP request and you will have to say make a basic auth request in make. Then you will have to add the um, endpoint, the API endpoint, um, which is uh, exactly this. So api.docsml.co slash api slash create document. <clears throat> this is a post method. You will have to set two headers, the content type as application JSON, and then the X API key with your API key, which you get in Docs Automator from your uh, settings. Um, that's it. You don't have to set any query strings. Then the body type is raw. The content type is uh, JSON application JSON here again. And then uh, we come to the important part, which is actually defining the content. Um, and you will have to get this syntax right because the syntax is very important. Um, basically, you start, you wrap this in, uh, in curly brackets. The first thing you have to give is the document ID, right? And the document ID, um, you basically get from the template you have to find in Docs Automator. So this here, this is the document ID. So doc ID, careful, this is a capital I doc ID, then you add that value that you're copying here from the URL bar. And then comma and the first field already. So in our case, it's company name. And also here, it's important that you get the, the placeholder value exactly right. So company name, and then we add the actual name, comma, line items. That's just how we define, ah, now line items are coming. And then we just have to pass this array of values that we've created in our glide tables. Pass response to yes. Um, and that's basically it. Um, that's how you create documents um, with line items from glide. So we can test this out and we can um, go to company B. Um, I actually have to watch for this. I can click this. So as you can see, this triggers this with uh, company B and the contacts that are connected to company B and makes this request um, and we get something back here. You see this data status code 200 is always good, means okay. 
everything worked well. And then we have a PDF URL here, um, which we can open. And there we go. It says company B, and then basically a list of our names. Um, and you can take um, this URL now, and of course, process it further, like upload it to Drive um, or um, store it back in Glide, um, which is a bit complicated as well because you will have to use the Glide, the Glide Tables API, I think, because Glide doesn't have more make actions currently, I think, um, which I've also done previously, which I'm not going to do now, not to make this um, too long. Um, but of course, you can process this uh, URL in any way you want. Um, I know this is quite complicated. I know it's not as easy as it should be. Um, and I promise that it will get a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot easier once Glide pushes native line item support in the integration, which uh, we're all waiting for. Um, but until then, at least there is a workaround. Um, and if you need help with integration or you have further questions, always reach out to me and I'm very, very happy to help. Thanks a lot and speak to you soon.